when vaccines are brought into the market, we should also remember something, especially when it comes to a question of new vaccines like the COVID vaccine. Sometimes we get very, very, very rare adverse events which follow vaccination. And uh, to test these uh, very rare adverse events, it's important to have good surveillance systems which can pick up these adverse events even after the vaccine enters into the market. We have a lot of history that suggests and assure us that vaccines are safe. For every country that's implementing vaccines, we want to continue to assure the community that vaccines continue to be safe and that our programs that deliver vaccines to people are safe as well. When we have good, strong systems in place, we can act quickly when an event is reported, take the appropriate steps to investigate, to respond, and to communicate back with the community about the event that occurred. So once COVID came in, there were challenges related to a lot of things. It was a new virus causing a new disease. It was a new population that was being affected and the vaccines were made on a new platform. So a new disease, a new vaccine and a new population. So our system had to be geared to deal with this challenge. During the pandemic, the world had a great focus on developing new vaccines for COVID-19. So this led to also an increased need for monitoring of vaccine safety. So to support the program members and under the guidance of WHO, UMC did some developments to our tools to collect and analyze data nationally and globally. One of the developments in VigiFlow was a customized data entry form to capture the key elements of IFIs. The forum supports finding emerging safety issues and is currently being used by over 70 program members. In terms of reporting to VigiBase from our program members, pre-pandemic, we had about 100,000 reports per year for vaccines. As soon as the vaccine rollout started in 2021, during that year alone, we had 3 million reports uh, coming into VigiBase. The purpose of VigiBase is really to find the rare and unexpected events. And in a situation like this, when you're rolling out a vaccine to millions of people in a matter of weeks, an event that would affect perhaps only one in a million patients could potentially become a big problem in a very short time. So having VigiBase as a source, collecting data from all of these different countries rolling out the vaccine, can really make a difference when it comes to the safety of the vaccines. First, we used Visualize for quantitative uh, and qualitative analysis of uh, IFI uh, reports in Egypt. We got benefit of the global pool as well because we used uh, regularly to develop uh, internal uh, reports, uh, signal reports on the, the IFI and especially within COVID vaccine. And now we are going to use the Vigi Mobile application at the front level uh, facilities primary hair skill settings so that uh, each uh, officer and each uh, um, personnel from the API enter the data directly via mobile, uh, directly to the database. Uh, so uh, this would save a lot of time and effort. Vigilize has been updated with several new features recently to help countries with their vaccine-specific data analysis needs. The main feature being the possibility to keep drug and vaccine statistical signal detection separate. It is especially important since vaccines are given to a healthy population. Vigimobile is an app for immunization health workers to collect all the data they need for adverse events following immunization, when they are on-site visiting patients and even with poor internet connections. The data collected is directly shared with Vigiflow so that key stakeholders gets access to the data immediately for all their analysis needs. The beauty of Vigimobile is that it uses standardized lexicons, mandatory fields, 
location data for patients, reporters and health facilities to ensure that you have the best quality data for your vaccine analysis. It's important to have processes in place that are straightforward for reporting AFIs so that busy healthcare providers can easily find the form to report. We need standardized forms that collect um, key elements of data. That can be a major barrier if the healthcare provider that reports doesn't have complete information or records aren't available. When we're looking at whether the vaccine caused the adverse event or the likelihood that the vaccine had a role. With the changes we made to our tools, we now support the program members across the cycle of vaccine surveillance to collect, analyze and share data and insights with the other members. Together with WHO, we will continue helping the program members to develop and strengthen their systems so they are better equipped to monitor the vaccine safety.